Hello folks, welcome to the presentation for the orangutan. Now I'll make no bones about it, I've wanted to sculpt an orangutan head for quite a while now. I mean I sculpted the uh, gorilla around about eight, nine years ago, one of my favourite subject matters, huge King Kong fan. Um, sculpted chimpanzee, I mean so really it makes sense to sculpt an orangutan head. But with an orangutan it's slightly different because there's a common perception that an orangutan has, is a very wisdomous, knowledgeable creature, very humanistic. And that's what I wanted to really bring into the piece. So I didn't want to just sculpt uh, an animal head as an animal, but the way I look at it is I wanted a very humanistic, as I just said, and characterful representation of an orangutan. So with, the, with that in mind, when I sculpted it, I wanted to make sure that the expression and the eyes were engaging, soft, but yet thoughtful. Uh, no aggression at all, because I think, again, none of us look at an orangutan as having any sort of aggression at all, quite the opposite, and that's what I wanted to bring out into the piece. Structurally, orangutans are, are very different, though, in one sense from a, a, a gorilla or a chimpanzee because they have a very large cheek section. Now what does this mean? This means when you're looking at the piece from the front or you're sculpting it from the front, you can't really see the travel from the piece in a three di from a three-dimensional perspective from the back. And so I was very aware of this. I didn't just want to look it to look from the front. Oh, there you've got it. It's a big circle. It's a face like a moon. So what I've tried to do is bring the fringe coming in to this part, but also as it sweeps round both sides, you can see that the, you can start seeing the back of the head forming. And again, like most edge pieces, particularly the large ones, it allows light to permeate all the way through it. And that's again, both sides have got that element to it. Very important, because ultimately, even though uh, pictures can demonstrate what a piece looks like, when you're putting them in a home environment, it's the 3D characteristics of it that become the most important. And again, even though the, the light here is very direct and very bright, and nobody has this sort of light set up in their house or in their home or what, whatever place they want to display any sort of piece, um, the, the holes with the piece and the, and the, and the edges will almost, in one res in respect, disappear, but the, in the other, let shadows and light permeate through it in all sorts of strange ways, hopefully. So yeah, I mean, on the whole, um, this is the orangutan presentation. I'll just show you guys the back, even though you don't display it on the back, it's just, I find I think it's interesting anyway. What we've done is we've finished this piece off with a, uh, a copper hue to go with the orange hair. So there you have it, guys. I think now that leads us suitably up to Dan's 360 uh, turnarounds that he's already prepared earlier. So off we go to that one. 